So now the next um, area I wanted to look at is uh, in the area of procurement processes, continuous improvement. Um, and and I, again, I'm sure we're all familiar with these ideas. That to uh, put a process and it doesn't quite work and you adjust it and it works a bit better, well then, you know, then, then it applies from now on and uh, you, you get the benefits and you don't have to think about it again. And um, many of us will have seen processes. I got an interesting one only today. Um, one of uh, my banks, <laughs> um, I, they have a system now that when you log on to the internet, like most of the banks, you can get a text message on your phone with a code valid for two minutes that you have to type in to get access to your account. And I wrote to them and I said, oh, well, if you've got that, please send me, you know, sign me up. And they sent me uh, about 10 pages. And one was a cover note saying, we're so delighted if you're interested. And, you know, please contact us if you're, if you're interested. And then the second page was effectively the advertisement. And somebody had gone through it with a highlighter uh, to pick out various parts. But I had already answered the advert. And then there was a contract with about six or eight pages. Only one page needed to be signed and no information about how it overlapped with the existing one. And then a request that I should make a comment. I wanted the mobile phone version, but no field for that. So can you see something as simple as signing a contract? Um, the process can be bad. And the point here is, okay, if we have a mentality that every time we use a process, or at least regularly, we, we take our processes and modify them, or adjust them, or ask ourselves, is that a good way of doing it? Um, if we do that, then things get better as we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading a message here. All processes fall into disuse if not improved. And um, that's a feature um, of this approach is that um, not necessarily every time, but certainly regularly, you look at a process and you say, do we need to use that? And is it being followed correctly? And um, if it's not, well, then we, we put it out of use. I've seen the expression to sunset. <laughs> In other words, we take it out of use. Um, but process that sort of falls out of use, is, it means it wasn't being followed in the first place. And then, uh, of course, if you work around, then you're in trouble because then you're back to the old familiar way of doing things informally. So thanks very much for that comment.